This is the new 2024 Acer Chromebook 311. It's an entry level 11.6 inch clamshell Chromebook with the Intel N100 processor and updates to Chrome OS through to June 2033. I've been using it for the last week so I can bring you this review covering the good and bad of it to help you with any buying decision. In the hand it feels solid enough and well made, it's an all plastic build in this silver colour and weight wise it's coming in at 1.19 kg that's about 2.63 pound. I was really hoping it would be lighter, I'll link you to my unboxing and first impressions of this Acer Chromebook 311 at the end of this video. In that you can see me compare the weight of this to the convertible Spin 311 from 2020. If you're looking to get this Chromebook for your kids, performance for one user logged in is fine with the Intel N100 processor and 4GB of low power DDR5 RAM. In some regions though you'll get the option of 8GB of RAM, I definitely check for that. Not that I'd recommend it but I did find by setting Chrome's memory saver to the maximum level and disabling some plugins I could still switch between two users, each with over 15 tabs. There's also 64 gig of VMMC storage on board, which I think is standard across the range. Battery life from the 50 watt hour battery seemed great, it'll vary on your use of course, but my usual test of getting into a second day of general use throughout the day before feeling the need to charge was easily passed. When it then came to recharging the Chromebook with the supplied 65 watt USB-C charger, I appreciated being able to get back up to over 50% of the battery's capacity in just half an hour. Gaming with some of the common titles here was generally fine. Connecting my Stadia controller via Bluetooth was no issue. The 311 has Bluetooth 5.2 as well as Wi-Fi 6E. That said, I could notice that Fortnite stuttered a bit, possibly related to my connectivity at the time, potentially the weak point of the 4GB of RAM in my 311 as well. The other thing that jumps out of course is the display. It's only HD, not full HD, so a lower resolution. We'll talk more about that in a bit. When pushing it, you might also notice a little bit of heat from the bottom of the Chromebook, but there's no vents or fan needed for the Intel N100 processor. On the sides, connectivity is reasonable. On the left, you've got one USB-C port for power data and display out. Then you've got the first of two full-size USB-A ports and a headphone microphone combo jack. All the USB ports are 3.2 Gen 1. And on the right-hand side, there's the second full-size USB-A port, an HDMI version 1.4 connection, and then a Kensington, I think it's the Nano port for say, locking it down in a classroom. Opening the Chromebook up and the screen goes back 180 degrees which will hopefully avoid some broken hinges. The keyboard deck is basic but well put together and the keys are well spaced. They have a medium to deeper travel to them and I quite enjoyed typing on this. Being accurate wasn't a problem despite the smaller size of the Chromebook. The touchpad is also quality. Naturally from Acer it's branded ocean glass and although not actual glass it's very smooth feeling and feels reassuringly firm. Fine for clicks and taps. The display is 11.6 inches in a 16 by 9 ratio and it has an 8 HD rather than full HD resolution. So it runs at 1366 by 768 or you can push it up to 1518 by 853 which is what I've done to be able to fit a bit more on the display. Again for a younger user it's probably not an issue. It is an IPS panel rather than TN so it is more vibrant. If you're comparing to other small entry level Chromebooks definitely check their screen tech against this. This one also gets decently bright for indoor use and is in a matte finish although I couldn't find an official stat for the nits of brightness. Mine is non-touch but there's also a touch option to watch out for in this generation too. Using my USB-C dock, extended display across my two full HD monitors whilst also using the Chromebook's display as a third worked well. Now the bezels. A lot of people will be bothered by these but if you think about the main audience likely being kids for this Chromebook, having something around the screen smaller hands can hold on to isn't an awful idea. In the top bezel you'll find the 720p webcam which does the job and it has a manual privacy slider which I found easy easy enough to operate. The speakers are on the front corners of the bottom of the Chromebook as well as the sides with a smaller grille. I'm not quite sure if that improves the sound much and overall it's acceptable but won't blow you away. Here's a quick test using the intro track from this video. So for what it is I have no issues with this Acer 311 but when it comes to small Chromebooks and knowing prices can fluctuate there is an excellent small Chromebook with the same N100 processor that offers several benefits over this Acer. It's the Lenovo Flex 3i 12.2 inch. You can check it out on the video linked on the left of the screen now or if you prefer to see my original unboxing and first impressions of this Acer Chromebook 311 that's the video on the right.